Hello guys, welcome to Ramta Solutions. Welcome to your lesson on vertical projectile motion. Today we are looking at the use of relative velocity. So you will come across a question that asks you for velocity of one object to another. That question is basically dealing with relative velocity. So, again, you will also be dealing with a case where you have maybe, let's say, you have um, a, a hot air balloon and you have an object or someone is carrying an object. They will say to you that an object was dropped from a hot air balloon that was moving upwards at a constant velocity. In order for you to know the initial velocity of that object for the purpose of vertical projectile motion you will need to use relative velocity okay so i'm not really getting into what relative velocity is but for the purpose of knowledge let me just tell you that when we talk of relative velocity we're basically talking of velocity of an object with relative to another object okay let me write it down with relative to another object right with relative to another object so you see the formulas here VAB is equal to VA minus VB and VAA is equal to VAB plus VBA. What I want you to know is that um, these are with a relative, basically these objects are with maybe um, with relative to a certain frame of reference. Uh, I, I will give you an example later what I mean by that. Not a very thorough definition, but just an understanding. Okay, so without any waste of time, let's get into it. Now, we're looking at objects with the same frame of reference. In this case, we have two objects. I will call the dog A and I will call the boy B. So their frame of reference in this case, we can say they are all moving um, on the ground, right? So they are sharing the, sa uh, the same frame of reference. Their frame of reference is the ground, whichever ground that we will be referring to, right? So they are sharing the ground, right? So now when we want to look at, let's say, velocity of the dog relative to the boy, we will say it is velocity of the dog minus velocity of the boy, right? Minus velocity of the boy. In the same way, we can say velocity of the boy relative to velocity of the dog is equal to velocity of the boy minus velocity of the dog. However, I want you to note, guys, I uh, Normally, when we write uh, velocity, we should be putting the, the dashes because it's a vector quantity, okay? But it's okay even if we don't put it for now. Okay, so I will give you an example here. Let's say um, this dog is moving to the right at 3 meters per second. And uh, maybe let me make it 4. Yeah, let me make it 4 at four meters per second and this boy is moving to the right at i'm gonna say um two meters per second right he's moving to the right at two meters per second so if a question asks you what is a relative velocity of the boy i mean of the dog relative to the boy you will say velocity of the dog remember i said the dog is a is VA minus VB. Now, since this is a vector quantity, you must always state, I will say my positive direction is to the right, all right? To the right as, sorry, as positive, all right? To the right as positive. So, 
the dog is going to the right with velocity 4 meters per second. What about the boy? He's also going to the right with velocity. Uh, he's also going to the right, but with a velocity of 2 meters per second. So what is this? This means he is moving, the dog relative to the boy is 2 meters per second to the right. Right? To the right. Okay? In the same manner, we will look at the velocity of the boy relative to the dog. Now, the boy is moving to the right at 2 meters per second. The dog is moving to the right again, but with velocity 2 meters per second. So, velocity of the boy relative to the dog is negative 2. Sorry, is negative 2, which is 2 meters per per second but where to the left all right remember i have chosen right words as positive so this answer is negative this is how you get your relative velocity questions okay all right now let's look at a different case let's say uh, this is a person i'm gonna call this person nombuso let's say nombuso um, is carrying a tennis in a parachute that's going up okay or oh, what I should do is this I should call the parachute object maybe let me call it object P and then Nombuso here is playing with a tennis ball right is playing with a tennis ball I'm gonna call it object B okay so what is happening is this we all know that we can say if we want to know the velocity of the tennis ball relative to remember the tennis ball is in the parachute all right that's one thing you should know the tennis ball is in the parachute so we have the velocity of the tennis ball relative to the parachute hot air balloon rather <laughs> and then um and then we also have velocity rather we also have the hot air balloon i'm gonna call it p so we can say it is or it has velocity p relative to a let me call a with letter a so this is velocity of the parachute relative to a right now we also have the the tennis ball here this tennis ball is in the hot air balloon all right is in the hot air balloon so we want to know what is the velocity of the tennis ball relative to the hot air balloon right this is where we will say velocity of the tennis ball relative to the hot air balloon would be velocity of the tennis ball relative to the hot air balloon plus velocity of the hot air balloon relative to oh sorry the question is I should be changing this i should be looking for i should be looking for velocity of the tennis ball relative to air not this i should be looking for velocity of the tennis ball relative to the air all right okay so let me fix that mistake that i did here so this is velocity of the tennis ball relative to to air would be equal to velocity of the tennis ball relative to the hot air balloon plus velocity of the hot air balloon relative to the air so generally this we can say maybe let me say velocity of object a relative to air um, is equal to or maybe let me use the ground okay i'm going to use the ground then the velocity of object a relative to the ground is equal to velocity of object a relative to let's say you were on a bus relative to the bus plus velocity of the bus relative to the ground right so this is um you in a bus then let's maybe look at that of the train for a train, velocity of object A relative to the ground is equal to 
velocity of object A relative to the train plus velocity of the train relative to the ground. All right? Now, let's look at the hot air balloon. Let's look at the hot air balloon. Now, when we look at the hot air balloon, I will say velocity of, I have to be careful here. Um, <laughs> okay, let me choose something else. Velocity of, let's say you holding a camera, a camera, no, a stone. Velocity of a stone relative to air would be equal to velocity of the stone relative to the hot air balloon. This time I'm going to call it P plus velocity of the hot air balloon, or rather I call it B, velocity of the hot air balloon relative to A. Okay, so guys, these are the formulas that you will be using. When you have <clears throat> objects with different frames of reference, you will be using this formula. Remember, one, you have the object that is moving with, uh, with regard or moving with the balloon sometimes when you have an object that's moving with the balloon and the balloon is moving in a different medium you use this formula all right these formulas but in your case you will be doing something like this so for your projectile motion for your projectile motion what you will be basically saying if you have the case if you have the case of a balloon you'll be saying of a hot air balloon you'll be saying initial velocity of whatever object that's projected whether it's dropped or projected up doesn't matter its initial velocity will be i'm going to give you an example it'll be the velocity of that object hear me out velocity of that object let me call it a relative to b b being the hot air balloon plus velocity of the hot air balloon relative to air okay relative to air okay this is what um okay relative to air let me just call it a a whatever so if a prime okay so this is a if you have that you can use this remember guys this formula i'm not saying it is the formula that um is strictly something that you should use as is your objects will be different just know that one here will be saying this is your object right this is your object in the in the hot air balloon and then this is your balloon all right this is your balloon which is moving maybe at a constant okay obviously they only say at a constant velocity so if you know this you will be okay when you read this question be careful as to what is the velocity that's given okay be careful and remember these are vector calculations always mention a direction that you take in to be positive okay now let me try an example an example here let's say um, this object was was dropped okay i'm gonna say i'm gonna change the color let's say this object was um should i say dropped okay i'm gonna say dropped okay i'm gonna say dropped so if it's dropped it's gonna be zero meters per second right and then this one was moving up at six meters per second upwards all right so what is the velocity of the tennis ball relative to the relative to air or in other words what is the initial velocity of the tennis ball you will simply say you will simply say let me just say from that example you will simply say i will take by the way upwards as positive okay i will take upwards as positive so you will simply say initial velocity equals velocity of the tennis ball i'm going to call my tennis ball okay let me call it a i'm going to call it a and then my 
with regard to the parachute so let me just call it uh, p and then i'm gonna say velocity of the hot air balloon i'm gonna call it p but with regard to a let me just say at a prime okay so what is this velocity of the tennis ball relative to the parachute remember it has dropped so it will be zero but what is the velocity of the parachute relative to the air it's moving in the air it will be six therefore this means the initial velocity of this object is now six meters per second but where upwards why am i saying the initial velocity i am saying initial velocity because once it gets dropped this object will be moving under the influence of gravity only okay so the velocity at that moment will be the one that i consider the initial velocity once it gets dropped it will be the one that i consider initial velocity why because this velocity is now moving with with regard to air it's no longer moving uh, with respect to the parachute or the the hot air balloon okay so when you come to these calculations and you will see what we do later okay so have fun guys see you next time bye bye